Hey, what's going on everyone? In this video, I'm going to be doing a comprehensive review of IP Vanish for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And also in this review, I'll be going behind the scenes and showing you guys how IP Vanish works, my experiences with using the platform, and I'm even going to go ahead and connect to a geo-restricted location on Netflix and also access a third-party app for watching free TV shows and movies. And quickly, just before I get stuck in, if you are looking to get started with IP Vanish, then don't forget to check out the massive 73% discount link down below in the video description. Let's get started. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm over here on my Amazon Fire TV dashboard, and I've been using this particular device for around three to four months now, and I originally was using the Apple TV. And one of the main reasons why I decided to jump ship from the Apple TV to the Amazon Fire TV Stick is the ability to go ahead and download VPNs directly onto the device. So as you can see, I've got a couple of VPNs here, um, such as ExpressVPN and IPVanish, which are my two personal favorites uh, for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So I've been using IPVanish for around the same amount of time as I've had the Amazon Fire TV Stick. And two of the main benefits that I've found with using IPVanish with this device is first, being able to access all the different catalogs of Netflix around the world. So for myself personally, I'm located here in Australia. So this means I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies that can only be found on the other catalogs of Netflix. And even if you're in other countries with large catalogs of TV shows and movies, um, such as America, you're also missing out on TV shows like Rick and Morty, Friends, and also movies like Lord of the Rings and Harry Potter that can only be found on the other versions of Netflix. So that definitely is one of the main advantages of using IP Vanish. And the second one is that I'm able to go ahead and access third-party apps and watch free movies and TV shows and being confident that my IP address and personal information is securely private and my internet service provider cannot see my activity. So what I'm going to do now guys is go ahead and show you exactly how to download IP Vanish onto your Amazon Fire TV Stick. I'll show you some of the settings that you can adjust and also just my overall experience with using the platform as well. So to go ahead and download IP Vanish, you just want to navigate to the top menu, go over to the left hand side where you can search for apps. And now I'm just going to go ahead and search for IP Vanish and I only have to put in the first couple of letters and then it will come up as a recommended app that I can go ahead and install. So I'll just navigate down to this one, click on that. And as you can see guys, I now have access to IP Vanish. And mine might look actually a little bit different as I already have IP Vanish downloaded and installed onto my Amazon Fire TV Stick. However, if you don't, you just wanna go ahead and click on uh, the circular button that will go ahead and download and install onto your device. And that will only take a couple of moments. So once you have IP Vanish downloaded and installed, you can then go ahead and open up the app. So as I already have an account with IP Vanish, it automatically opens me to the dashboard. So if you don't already have an IP Vanish account, you can check out the massive discount link down below in the video description. This will open you in a new tab. And from there, you can go ahead and pick the kind of plan that's specific to your needs and budget. And once you've gone ahead and done that, you'll have your username and password. So you just wanna keep those in mind and paste those in or kind of type those in and this will then go ahead and log you into the dashboard of IP Vanish. So once you are logged in, this is what you'll be greeted with. Um, this is kind of the home page of the IP Vanish dash dashboard. So as for the IP Vanish dashboard, if I'm going to be honest with you guys, I do think it is a little bit overwhelming, especially if you are using it for the first time. However, in saying that, after a couple of times of usage, you do really get used to the kind of layout and the functionality of the app. So right here on the left hand side, we have various options to go ahead and do the quick connect. So this will automatically connect us to the fastest server closest to our location. Or alternatively, we can go ahead and pick a certain country, a city, and also the server as well. So before I go ahead and connect to any servers, the first thing I wanna show you guys is the settings of IPVanish and kind of my thoughts on what they offer, especially when compared to the competition. So if you wanna go ahead and access the settings on IP Vanish, that's very easily done by navigating over to the top right hand corner, 
clicking on the gear icon. So I'll click on that one. So as you can see guys, we've got heaps of settings that we can now access uh, within IP Vanish. And I'd have to say this is definitely one of the strong suits of IP Vanish as they really do allow you to kind of get down to really fine details and really make the most out of the service. So as you can see, I already have IP Vanish um, startup enabled. So this means that whenever I go ahead and turn on the Amazon Fire TV stick, IP Vanish will automatically boot up in the background. And this means that I really don't have to think about it. It's automatically connected and I simply don't have to manually turn it on and off every time I use the platform. So that definitely is a massive time saver. And it's also just very simple uh, to use as well. So if I scroll down a little bit further, we have the auto reconnect. Um, so for whatever reason, if the internet drops out or maybe IP Vanish drops out, drops out, this will automatically reconnect you to the fastest server that they can find. And if I go down a little bit further, we have allow LAN access and also split tunneling as well. So split tunneling is actually a really awesome feature that many other videos don't cover. And this is actually a really awesome benefit so this allows you to split your internet traffic into two different categories, one with a VPN and one without. So say for example, you use Netflix a lot, you obviously don't want to be using a VPN unless you're accessing Geoblocked content, as this will allow you to get the fastest possible speeds without using a VPN. However, if you are going to be using third-party apps and you want to hide your IP address and your activity, then you can kind of siphon that traffic into a different category. So you can really utilize your internet traffic and get the best possible speeds for what you're using it for. So if I go down a little bit further, we also have some additional settings um, such as open application after connection, scramble, and heaps of others such as the protocol and the port as well. So you can really kind of go ahead and make this your own. And like I said earlier on, this definitely is one of the main benefits of using IP Vanish especially when compared uh, to the competition. So what I'm going to do now is go ahead and connect to a particular server and location and go ahead and access geo-restricted content on Netflix just to show you guys that IP Vanish is actually working and also go ahead and share with you my experiences of connecting as well. So now that I've kind of adjusted the settings that I would like, I can return back to the home page. And I've already gone ahead and selected the location to the United Kingdom as the country that I would like to connect to, as I would like to go ahead and watch additional TV shows on Netflix that I actually cannot find in my particular location. So I can click on the country, and as you can see guys, it's already set to the United Kingdom. But if I want to go ahead and change it, I can simply change it to any of these countries which you can see right here. So we've got Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Be uh, Belgium, and the list pretty much does go on guys and it's got the most popular kind of locations that you would like to connect to for accessing our geo restricted content as well so as you can see the list pretty much does, does keep going on you've got united kingdom united states and heaps more as well so i'll keep it on the united kingdom for this video so i'll go back to return and right here we have the option to go ahead and pick an individual server in the united kingdom so i'll go ahead and click on that one and as you can see guys, I have the option of best available. So if I select this option, this means that IP Vanish will automatically connect me to the fastest server in their network. Um, so this means I really don't have to worry about kind of trying to find the best optimized server as it's automatically already taken care of. However, say for example, you're living in London, then in this instance, then maybe you do want to connect to a London based server. So I'll just leave this as is, I'll select best available. And then I can go to server, and if I really want to kind of go granular and pick a particular kind of location and a server, then this is also very easily done as well. And as you can see guys, I'm spoiled for choice to the amount of servers that are specifically in the United Kingdom. And I also get the associated speeds as well. So if you're really trying to optimize the speeds, and this is also a really great step um, that you can follow as well. So I'm just going to leave this as best available again. And I'm pretty much happy with those settings. So now I can go ahead and press connect. Okay guys, so once I go ahead and press connect, I now kind of get these green waves, um, which just lets me know that I'm now connected to a server in the United Kingdom. And this is actually oddly satisfying to watch. It kind of just gives you an overview of the speeds uh, when using RP Vanish as well. 
So now that I'm connected to a server, I'm now able to go ahead and watch third-party apps on my Amazon Fire TV stick and also access the different versions of Netflix as well. So now that I'm connected, I'll go back to the home page of my Amazon Fire TV stick and now I'll go to my Netflix account. And like I said earlier, I'm actually located in Australia, so this means I miss out on thousands of TV shows and movies. So just to show you guys an example of this, I can now go ahead and search for the TV show Friends. And this actually got pulled off the American version of Netflix and heaps of others as well. However, you can actually still go ahead and watch this particular TV show on the UK-based version of Netflix. And this is specifically why I chose that location. So now that I'm here, I'll go ahead and search for friends. So I'll search for that one now. Search for that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to the friends TV show, plus heaps of others that aren't available in my particular uh, location, um, such as How I Met Your Mother, The Big Bang Theory, um, That 70s Show, uh, Gilmore Girls, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, and the list pretty much keeps going on. And this is really only scratching the surface to the amount of additional content that you can watch on Netflix when using IPVanish. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is go ahead and play a really small snippet of this TV show in real time, just to show you guys a real-world indication of speeds and performance, and also just to show you that IPVanish is actually working for accessing geoblocked content on the Amazon Fire TV stick. And this is mainly because a lot of VPNs from my own experience do allow you to get this far, but as soon as you try to play maybe a TV show or a movie on a geo-restricted um, Netflix server, Netflix actually does detect you are using a VPN, and it will actually prevent you from watching that content. Um, so that definitely is one of the major benefits that I have found with using IPVanish. They are actually one step ahead of Netflix, and they actually do allow you to go that step further and watch that TV show and movie. So I'll go ahead and play this one. And as you can see guys, we're now getting the buffering wheel and this is pretty typical uh, with using a VPN for accessing uh, geo-restricted content on Netflix. And this is mainly because the connection has to go all the way to a different location where that server is located and ping it all the way back to me as well. So from my own experience with using IPVanish, it typically does take around 10 to maybe 45 seconds depending on the time of day and also the amount of people that are on the server as well. So again guys, I'll let this play out in real time as I really want to show you guys a real world indication of what it's actually like to use VPNs for accessing geo-restricted content. And as you can see guys, this is now loading uh, with no issues whatsoever. So as you can see from that test guys, IPVanish does a fantastic job at allowing me to bypass the geo-blocked and restricted content on Netflix. And from my own personal experience, I have found them to be one of the fastest VPNs for allowing me to do that as well. Typically, it does take me around 10 to 30 seconds to connect. Uh, but once it does, there's pretty much no issues with buffering and also quality as well. So what I'm going to cover now in this review is kind of just my thoughts of using third-party apps with IPVanish. As I know this is also a major kind of uh, reason why people do choose a VPN for the Amazon uh, Fire TV stick. So just to show you guys this, I'm going to go ahead and open up an app called FreeFlix. So I'll just go ahead and click on that one. And as you can see guys, I now have access to various movies and TV shows, and I'm still connected to IPVanish as well. And with using a VPN like IPVanish, they do a fantastic job at allowing you to hide your IP address, and also the activity when using the app as well. So this is really kind of beneficial, especially if you're going to be using third-party apps um, like these. So there you have it, guys. That's my comprehensive review of using IPVanish for the Amazon Fire TV Stick. So as for my overall experience with using IPVanish, I'd say they do an extremely great job, especially for the price. Um, I know when compared to ExpressVPN, um, they're around $6.49 per month. And when you compare them to IPVanish, they're around $3.50. So you get a very comparable product at around half the price when compared to their major competitor. And they also do a great job at bypassing the geo-blocked restricted content and hiding your IP address. So I've definitely been happy with the service that I've received so far with IPVanish and I'd highly recommend them to anyone that's using an Amazon Fire TV stick. And again guys, if you are looking to get started with IPVanish, then don't forget to check out the massive 73% discount link 
down below in the video description. And also, if you have any questions about accessing geo-restricted content, VPNs, Amazon Fire TV Sticks, or anything along those lines, then feel free to comment down below and I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. And if this video has been helpful or you've gotten any value from this, then please smash that like button. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.